Yo, bro! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I think we did something interesting today. It seems we got a letter in the mail last week. Who is it from? None other than Javin M. So if you guys don't know who this guy is, you guys might see his comments every once in a while down below in the comment box. But he is a fellow PokeTuber, and he had a giveaway last week. And just like Sanji Lee won our big giveaway, he won, well, I won their giveaway. So he sent this in the mail to me. I kind of forget what's supposed to come inside. So let's find out. I didn't want to open this up all weekend, but I was like, you know what? I'll wait till the pack wars are over, and uh, we, we can we can relish in the fun with everyone. So we, we got some stuff in the back there, but uh, we also do have a letter. It says, congrats, Alara Unboxed, on winning my 50 sub giveaway. Included is Mega Charizard EX. <gasps> Mega Charizard. And three other rare hollows. I would have put the cards in soft sleeves as well, but I something ran out. That is A-O-K. P.S. Amazing Snorlax pick on back. <laughs> it says, I'm sleepy, I'm fat. I, I'm gonna, we, we might have to like post this up here from now on. Snorlax is my boy. That's my man, just because I personally like to sleep too. So if I remember correctly, these are in jap o -nies. So we got that little bad boy right there, the Charizard EX Japanese. Who knows what he's saying? I wonder, like, I don't even, whoa, 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 I just realized that. Over here, our cards have Japanese letters, but over there, their cards have English letters. So for all you guys wondering, the Japanese ever get English words tattooed? I'm going to assume so if their cards do. That's actually pretty interesting all in itself. And then we got these guys right back there with, I believe that's one final card. So that's a Chansey over there in that one. Looks like the Poke Center Chansey, honestly, from the original set. You got the Nido King or Nido King, depends on how you like to say it. And then we got the Clefairy. So that's what we want from the giveaway. I have a firm philosophy. If it's free, it's for me. So once again, thanks, Javin. If you guys get some extra time, check out his channel. I believe it's Javin M. I'm pretty sure. If not, you can just check our, um, our webpage or just our YouTube page. And I believe he's in one of our featured uh, YouTubers. I'm pretty sure. I see at least on my screen. But the last order of business is there were three guys remaining from the pack contest. And just funnily enough, it's like Net Chrisma did win, so he's got two packs left, and then Feeny came in second. So there's one pack left for Feeny. But this is what we got going on. I figure we'll we'll turn him around, mix him up real good. See if we can uh get anything good from these last bits of boys and girls right here. Well, of packs. I was actually expecting the pack wars to be a lot more lit than what they were. But Alas, they were not, but that is fine. We got a Sophocles out of them. We did see Necrozma come up on top, so it's always interesting. I, I kind of like Big Old Wars. It's always fun. Little free code right there. And uh, I, I don't rem... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we can just blaze through it. Fire Energy, Simapore, Building Dumbbells, Bodybuilding, Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Wow, I have no idea what I said. Regular Art Sophocles, Alolan Rattata, Panpour, Caterpie, Porygon, Salk, Reverse Hollow Soul Rock, and... Whoa! Whoa! Another Alolan Mock. These guys just seem to love me recently. I think this is like, what? The fourth Muck I have gotten? I have, what, a Secret, um, a Regular, and then a Full Art Mock? We'll just put them back there like that. So there, there, there's some of that fire that was missing from the Pack Wars in itself. I'm not gonna lie, in the show, Muck was kind of a boss. If you guys like just remember, I believe, what is it? In the um, Elite Four? Not Elite Four, but in, in the final episodes, Muck took down like, Muck was Ash's Snorlax before he got a Snorlax. If no one actually remembers that from the actual show, Muck put in work when it came to battles. And then after season one, Muck just kind of disappeared the minute Ash got a Snorlax. And then I'm not mad, but I mean, I, I think Muck and Snorlax kind of had their own little places. Not to mention when doing like the uh, mirror match, Muck could have taken it out. But we have a reverse tile of Venipede and the rare will be a Shinodic, not even rare. Not even rare. I don't know what pack that was from. I don't know if that was Lily or uh, Neckersma. But this is our final pack. We'll flash one more code card right there for you guys. 
pull four from the front. And let's see what we got. The final rundown. Fairy Energy. Metapod. Dust Clops. Knocked Tau. Charmander. Crab Brawler. A Meowth. A Stuffle. Whoa, he was just roaring to get out of my hands. But just filthy little pansage. You know these monkeys are little slippery things. But more bodybuilding dumbbells. And then the final card of these last three packs is none other than a regular rare Persian. So nothing great from those. But once again, thank you guys for watching. We don't have a winner for the 12-pack giveaway or the 12 code cards. So I'm going to try and figure out a different way of doing that. But if anything... Um, I'll figure out somebody to get those out somehow in some way. Um, we have, I think, another giveaway happening in about two to three weeks. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But without further ado, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Smash that like button if you want to see more of this content. And I will see you guys tomorrow.